Let's talk about the categories of each chemical. Number one is pigment. This chemical provides color and opacity to the paint. Pigment can be organic or inorganic, meaning it can be powdered or liquid, and they are carefully selected to achieve the desired paint color and performance. Two are your binders. Resin. Binders are responsible for holding the pigment particulars together and adhering them to paint surfaces. There are different types of binders. One, acrylic resin. Two, acrylate resin. Three, epoxy resin. All binders determine the adhesion, durability, and flame forming properties of the paint. Three, solvent. Solvents are used as carriers and tiners in paints to control velocity and drying time. In water-based paint, water serves as the primary solvent, while in oil-based paint, organic solvent like kerosene serves as a solvent. Four, additives. Additives are chemicals that modify and enhance the performance of paint. There are several various functions, such as improving flowing, preventing foaming, enhancing adhesion, and providing specific properties like antimicrobial bacteria and anti corrosion protection. Five, fillers. Fillers are chemicals added to extend the paint volume improve coverage and control texture. Common fillers include like carbon carbonate, talac, kaolin, and titanium. Six are your dryers. Dryers are active used in oil-based paints to accelerate the drying process by promoting the oxidation and polymerization of the binders. They reduce drying time and improve hardness. Seven is your anti-skinner agent. This additive prevents the formulation of a skin on the paint surfaces when stored in the containers. Eight are your stabilizers. Stabilizers are used to maintain the stability of the paint formulation, preventing the separation of components. Number nine is your thickness. Thickness adjusts the velocity of paint to make it suitable for specific application and ensure proper consistencies for brush or roller application. 10 is your anti-foaming agent. Anti-foaming agents are used to reduce or prevent the formation of bubbles during production and application of paint. So this chemical works together in process ratio to create a paint formulation that meets specific performance requirement. The selection of this chemical is a Important part in paint production, allowing manufacturers to achieve the desired color, texture, adhesion, durability, and other properties in the final paint production process.